Hey there, Russell Pups family. Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of canine vision. Understanding how your dog sees the world is more than just a fun fact. It's a window into their behavior and instincts. Have you ever wondered what your furry friend sees that you can't? Why they get so excited about a seemingly dull brown ball? Or how they spot that squirrel darting across the yard before you even have a chance? Well, you're in for a treat. Let's explore the incredible ways dogs perceive the world around them and unlock the secrets behind those soulful puppy dog eyes. First, let's talk about how a dog's eyes are different from ours and how those differences shape their perception of the world. One of the most fascinating differences lies in the structure of their retina, the light-sensitive layer at the back of the eye. The retina is made up of millions of light-sensitive cells called rods and cones. Rods are responsible for detecting light and darkness, which is essential for vision in low-light conditions. Cones, on the other hand, are responsible for color vision and seeing fine details. Dogs have a much higher number of rod cells compared to humans. This abundance of rods means they can see much better in the dark than we can. It's like having built-in night vision goggles. While having more rods is great for low light vision, it comes at a cost. Dogs have fewer cone cells than humans, which brings us to our next point color perception. Dogs see the world primarily in shades of blue and yellow. For example, they can't distinguish between red and green, which means that to them, a bright red ball might look more like a dull brown. What matters most to them is the contrast. So next time you're choosing a toy for your furry friend, think about contrast. A toy with good contrast is not just visually appealing, it's also a great way to stimulate their minds and keep them engaged during playtime. Next up is motion detection. And let me tell you, dogs are masters of this. They're like furry little ninjas, always alert and ready to pounce on anything that moves. Their incredible motion detection skills aren't just about being playful or catching squirrels. They're deeply rooted in their survival instinct. Dogs are naturally wired to be aware of their surroundings, always on the lookout for potential threats or prey. Their eyes are positioned on the sides of their heads, giving them a wider field of view than humans. Dogs have a higher flicker fusion rate than humans. This means they can process visual information much faster than we can, allowing them to see individual frames of movement that our eyes just blur together. Think of it like this. Imagine watching a flip book. We see a continuous motion, but a dog with their superior flicker fusion rate can see each individual image. This is why your dog might go wild when they see a squirrel darting across the yard, even if you didn't notice it at all. Their ability to detect motion is about 20 times better than ours, which is why they can react so quickly to things that catch their attention. So if you think your dog is just being hyper, they might actually be picking up on something you completely missed. Now, let's talk about the field of vision, that panoramic perspective that allows dogs to take in so much of their surroundings. Their eyes being positioned on the sides of their heads gives them a wider field of view than humans, about 240 degrees compared to our 180 degrees. This means they can see more of their surroundings without having to turn their heads. It's like having a built-in panoramic view this wider field of vision is essential for their survival, both in their ancestral roles as hunters and in their modern lives as our companions. In the wild, it allows them to scan for prey or potential threats from multiple directions, giving them a crucial advantage. But this wider field of vision comes with a trade-off. While dogs excel at peripheral vision, their binocular vision, the area where both eyes see the same image, is more limited than ours. Binocular vision is essential for depth perception, which is why dogs might sometimes misjudge distances, especially when it comes to objects that are close up. So, next time you're playing fetch and your dog misses the ball by a hair, remember that their depth perception might be a little off. So there you have it. Dogs see the world in a way that's completely different from us. 
From their ability to see in low light to their incredible motion detection and wider field of vision, our furry friends experience life through a unique lens. If you enjoyed this journey into the fascinating world of canine vision, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to Russell Pups, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update.